Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing uh, just for a product I got recently from uh, Amazon. Um, just go over some of the uses and just some of the features and functions here. Uh, well, as you can see, there's two products, um, but what we're focusing on is the uh, Teslon uh, Endoscope Inspection Camera System. Endoscope. Um, so, I, I borrowed this unit from my friend. Uh, I've used it a couple times. Um, just for odd jobs around the house, like uh, checking out duct work where we had an issue with airflow, um, using it when working on the car, if, if you're trying to look for a coolant leak for some reason behind the intake manifold, you could pull out this camera and you're able to uh, bend the uh, the wand and get into it. So this has been very useful to me and I, I just had to go purchase my own. Um, so I did go on Amazon, this unit has five stars and uh, it's a really good value. Um, so I decided I was going to go ahead and pick this one up. Um, so just to go through some of the uh, features here. Um, so just a quick rundown. So this unit was $120 with free shipping. In this unit you're looking at about $160. Um, this one has a 2 meter uh, uh, wand scope. And this one has a 5 meter scope. The 5 meter is overkill for most applications. Um, so I definitely want something smaller um, which is easier to contain and uh, this one is a pain in the butt as far as having to unwind the the camera and then wind it back up and get it into this crappy box. Um, the Teslong came in a nice storage case which will fit nicely in my toolbox. Um, another benefit to the Teslong here unit is this one has a rechargeable battery. This one uses uh, four double A's. So you're going to be using batteries and swapping them out, whereas this one you're just going to go ahead and recharge it. Uh, both the cameras came with attachments for retrieving objects. If you have to retrieve um, items, there's a magnetic and a hook piece that you can put on the end of the camera, so if you have to retrieve something that you can hook onto it and hopefully pull back wherever you have to. Um, the Teslong also came with a uh, micro USB cord for uh, uploading your videos and also using it as a rechargeable cord. Um, I did want to show you though, I did notice on the Teslong unit, the focus um, for distance, I don't know if you can see in this picture here, it's not very focused and then I didn't see any adjustments to to focus it. Um, looking at this picture you can see it's more clear. Now we're talking about distance. And typically you're not going to be looking, when you're using these endoscopes, you're not going to be looking for far away distance. You're going to be doing things that are close up um, and you're going to want more of a macro lens. And um, as far as I think this one has a better macro lens, it's, it's a little bit clearer picture when you get things with uh, smaller writing. Let me see if we can get this in here. So this is just like a little leaflet I'm using. And you can see how clear that is. That's just a really good clear picture. And then we'll look at this unit here. And this one, it, it's clear as well. Um, this one you can see there's some actual focusing going on. I'm getting really close up to the item. This one, it, it stays in focus no matter what. It doesn't have an autofocus though. So um, that was just the only major difference that I saw. Um, this one is 0.3 megapixels. This unit is uh, 720p. So there is a difference in in resolution. But when you're, like I said, you're in there looking at things close up, you're not going to notice that difference. They both have a three and a half inch uh, diameter display. Um, they have a uh, light. On the end of the cameras. So this one, this one here is the Teslong, and then this one here is the other brand, which is a digital inspection camera. It's pretty generic. Um, so yeah, this is very bright lights. It's got six LED lights on the Teslong, same as the other one has six LED lights as well. Um, the, 
this one is a lot more easier to navigate the menus. I mean, basically, if you hit the gear, it gives you all your your settings as far as uh, doing time stamping, your language, uh, your power on and off for the screen, formatting of your SD, SD card, system reset and version. This one is a little bit more, has a lot more options. You can re adjust the resolution, effect. Date and stamp. Um, both of these you have camera uh, camera mode. Let's see here. This is a. I don't remember. I think that was a coolant hose I was working on with that one. Um, so that's pretty much that. So uh, yeah, I mean definitely for this is definitely a great value for 120 bucks ship free shipping through Amazon. Um, comes with a nice carrying case. So if you're if you're deciding between these two and what it comes down to, as far as uh, resolution, as far as price, as far as um, things you need to weigh in there, they both have their benefits and they both have uh, uh, their price point. You know, is whatever you want to decide how much you want to spend. Um, I do like, like I said, I like the rechargeable battery on this one as opposed to this one does not have a rechargeable battery. Uh, the smaller one, it's a little bit better of a form factor as opposed to the the handheld gun here. As you can see, like I have this one, you could bend the cable and have it kind of perch up while you're trying to look at your video. Um, the one on the uh, Teslong seems a little a lot nicer uh, quality. Uh, stiffness, they're about the same, but this one just has a better feel to it. This one just kind of feels like a tube that was covered in electrical tape. This one has more of a, a rigid feeling to it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. Thank you.